Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to have a little bit of a challenge for you to kind of practice with your express routing and get a little bit of experience under your belt. I highly recommend that you do this on your own before watching me do it. Um, even if you, you get stuck for a bit, make sure that you give it the old college try and do your very best. You can search and Google on all kinds of stuff, rewatch videos as needed. So you're going to make a new directory called Routing Challenge. You're going to use npm init to create your new node application. You're going to install Express and then set up the Express boilerplate, which includes importing Express, creating that app const by calling Express's function, and then telling that app to listen for requests. And again, watch the previous videos if you're not quite sure you don't remember how to do that. Inside of app.js, you are also going to create routes, each of the following routes. There are four different sections. First, you should have the root route, which just displays this is the home page. That's all it needs to do, a static page. You should have a single route for sports. Now, the sports route, if it's sports slash soccer, it should display soccer is awesome. If it's sports slash basketball, it should say basketball is okay. If it's sports slash golf, it should display golf is boring. You're welcome to change the sports um, to whatever you want, whatever you think is awesome, okay, and boring, um, but as long as it, is, it follows the same format. One sport is awesome, one sport is okay, one sport is boring. Again, this is just one round. You're not setting up a three different app.gets for sports slash soccer, sports slash basketball. You're going to use a parameter for this second part. Remember about the parameters with the colons and how to do those. You're going you're to need to do a little bit of fiddling inside of that route with your JavaScript to determine whether you're going to say awesome, okay, or boring. Remember that you can use any type of JavaScript code inside of that callback function. So just keep that in mind because you're going to need to do that. The next route is parrot and it should have parrot slash parameter slash parameter. So if you put parrot slash cracker slash three, it's going to say cracker three times. If you parrot hello two, it's going to say hello two times, etc. And again, this is only one route. This is one route. You're not declaring a different route for each possible word. And then finally, you're going to set up a 404 page for any routes that can't be found. And it's just going to say 404 page not found. Go ahead, pause the video, get that knocked out. Um, it shouldn't be too terribly challenging. If you remember, this is the one that people are probably, or might struggle with the most, is that you can put whatever JavaScript code inside of these callback functions that you want. So just keep that in mind, especially as you're doing these two. So go ahead and pause the video and get this knocked out. If you get stuck, feel free to Google, look at Stack Overflow. If you get really stuck, you can unpause it, but it's gonna be a lot more beneficial to you if you knock it out and do some research on your own if you get stuck instead of just watching me do it. All right, I hope you got that knocked out. You did a good job. Let's go ahead and go through and we can look at it. So, step number one is to create a new directory. So let's do that. Let's cd into week nine, that's where I need to be. And then make directory routing challenge. And cd into that. And then I need to use npm init to create a new application it's called routing challenge. There's version description app.js is my entry point. I don't care about the rest of these. All right, inside of routing challenge, let's, we can look over here in the side. We now have our package.json. Next step is to do npm install express. It'll take it a second to do that. All right, that has finished. Step four is to inside app.js set up the express boilerplate. So first step on that is to touch app.js so that we actually have an app.js file. Open that up, and I need to, ex to set up the express boilerplate. So const express equals require express, and then const app equals express called as a function. So we did that, did that, and now we have to tell it to listen. Down at the bottom, app.listen, first item is the port number. The second is a callback function that will run whenever we start the server. So I'm just going to console.log running. That is our boilerplate. Now we're going to create these different routes. First one is root. It should display this as the home page. So app.get root. And my callback function, which has a request and a response object on it, request and response arguments. All it's going to do is response.send. This is the home page. 
save, and let's go ahead and test that, make sure it works. So no daemon app.js. If I come over here and just go to the root, this is the home page. Perfect. That's what I wanted. So that is done. Sports sports slash soccer should display soccer is awesome. So I now want app.get slash sports slash sport. The reason I'm doing um, colon sport is because that's a parameter. So request response. And now I have to do the logic. Because the logic here is that either it's going to be soccer, basketball, or golf. So if sport or request dot params dot sport is equal to soccer, we're going to do one thing. Else if request dot params dot sport is equal to basketball, we're going to do something else. Else if request.params.sport is equal to golf. We're going to do something else. And actually, I didn't put this in the directions, but hopefully some of you did it anyway. Else, we're going to do something else there. So if it's soccer, we want to response.send soccer is awesome. If it's basketball, we want to response.send Basketball is okay. And if it's golf, response to send. Golf is boring. I apologize for anyone who who plays and enjoys golf. It's just not for me. And then finally, if it's none of those, response to send. Please enter a valid sport. And that's that's not required. But I'm I'm betting some of you already did that anyway. So let's try this. Let's see if this works. Sports slash sport slash sports, slash, let's do soccer. Soccer's awesome. Basketball, basketball's okay. Golf, golf is boring. And I don't know, lacrosse. Please enter a valid sport. So that is working as we wanted it to. So sports are done, parrot time. App.get, slash parrot, slash, we're gonna do word, and then slash number. Or let's do count. For times, let's do count. Request response. And now just to review real quick, now just to glance over this real quick again, the first one is the word, the second one is the number of times it should be repeated. We could do this all in one line, but it's gonna be a little bit more clear and easy to read if we create a variable for it. So let, um, let output or phrase let phrase equal just an empty string and then we can do this a variety of different ways I'm just going to use a for loop for that i equals zero i is less than request dot params dot count i plus plus phrase plus equals request.params.word. Um, now what this is going to do, and this is not done by the way, what this is going to do is that it created the phrase var um, variable just to kind of hold it and then it's going to start at zero and then for however many times and count it's going to add the word onto this. Now this is not going to work because there's no, there's no spaces but let's see if it works and then after that's done response.send phrase. Let's see if this works. Slash parrot slash poly slash three. Poly poly poly. Sure does, but it doesn't have any spaces. So there's a few different ways we could do this. I'm just going to make this a template string. And then add a space after it. Refresh, poly, poly, poly. Cracker times three is cracker, cracker, cracker. Three times ten. Oops. Did the whole thing instead of there. times ten. Did it a bunch of times. So that is working as intended. 
that's not the only way to, that we could have done this, but that, that's probably the most straightforward way to do it. So we got parrot, and now we need to set up a 404 page that just says 404 page not found, which is super simple. App.get, use the asterisk, request response, response.send, 404 page not found. And if I come over here and instead of parrot, just put a bunch of stuff, page not found. There we go. That has completed the routing challenge. It took us 35 lines or so. What we did is we imported our express up here. We listened for incoming requests, and then we set up these different routes. For the route, we just returned a static, this is the home page. For sports, we used some if-else logic to return different um, phrases, depending on what the parameter was. And for the parrot, we used the two parameters, the word and the count, and a for loop to return a different phrase depending on what word they put and how many times they wanted it repeated. And then finally we set up a 404 page, kind of a catch-all with the asterisk. Um, and it's important to note that this is last because if we put it anywhere else, it will um, show a 404 for anything. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.